Hello, welcome back to Heroes of Might and Magic 3. We're going to be doing a new playthrough today called the Castle Crusade. This is going to be me playing as Castle against seven AI opponents, all of whom are on the same team. Uh, I'm going to be playing as Linus because I think he is a fantastic hero, a hero who is sometimes overlooked, um, but really, really interesting specialty, the prayer specialty. It's going to be really good once we get to expert water magic. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm not necessarily confident this is going to be particularly easy. It could kind of go either way, I'm not really sure yet, but as you can see we're up against three Necropolis opponents, two Dungeon opponents, and also two Inferno opponents. Impossible difficulty, and we're playing on Shadow of Death, so Necropolis is its full powered self. On Horn of the Abyss, Necropolis is cut in half, or Necromancy is cut in half. Um, on this version, it's going to be full Necromancy. They're going to be really strong. There's going to be a lot of skeletons to deal with along with the Archdevils and things like that. We have done something a bit like this before. I played as Necropolis against seven different castle opponents. That was slightly different because then we had Necromancy on our side. This time we really just have Linus, so I'm not sure exactly how it's going to go. Fingers crossed it should be a lot of fun. It's probably going to be quite a long one, so buckle up and make sure you click the playlist link in the description so you can watch the whole thing if it's all been uploaded. And without further ado, let's get into it. Let's see what our start is like. Okay, so we can see at the start here we've got some skeletons blocking our way forward. Unfortunately, there is no way through that doesn't involve fighting them. Uh, we've started off with 800 gold. Do we get an archer's tower? Yes, we do. Perfect. Uh, unfortunately, we don't actually start off with any archers, so it's not... It's not a perfect start. I think we could have done a bit better with Linus, but never mind. Um, we're going to have to fight these skeletons in order to make a push through, so let's just move towards them, see what they are. So, unfortunately, it is a horde of skeletons instead of lots of skeletons, and that's not going to be a very easy fight for day one. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I, I could wait for one more day and just pick up one extra archer, uh, a few extra pikemen. This is not necessarily going to be an easy fight, but we do have a portal of glory right there, which is a really good start. That's going to really help us in the late game, particularly if we turn out to only have just the one castle town, if we can actually um, boost the growth in that. That's going to kind of make up for the fact that we're massively outnumbered by different types of towns. I don't like the idea of going for this. I think even if we win, we'll probably lose quite a few units. So I'm going to pull back and I'm going to spend one day in the town. That should get us an extra 500 gold. It's not ideal, I know, but it's impossible difficulty. We start with no resources. Uh, the start is not always friendly. Okay, so six extra pikemen, one extra archer. Hopefully that's going to be enough to make a difference. I think we have to go for it at this point. We can't waste too much time. We're only expected to lose nine, so I probably should have gone for that. So they seem to be baited towards the bottom, which is good. Okay, so these guys are going to go for a shot on these. They get four kills, which is not bad. Let's just see if we can use these two bottom stacks just to bait them in as much as possible. So my hope for the start here is just to have as much time as possible to build up before the opponents actually show up. I'm very tempted to go for prayer here, but let's hold back for now. Okay, so these guys should be safe if we go to the back. No, I didn't think that seemed believable. Okay, so these guys can reach one of our stacks, but if we move them both back, that should keep one of them still alive. You guys are free to shoot, so let's go for these. And these guys can go and hopefully finish them off, or near enough. Get morale, I'm just going to finish them off, and everyone else is going to defend. But yeah, because we're playing on impossible difficulty, I think our best hope is just to avoid our opponents for as long as possible, try and make up for the fact that we're starting with no resources, and just try and build up as much as we can. We already have a kind of goal to go towards, which is the Portal of Glory. That's going to require us to take down three angels, which is not going to be an easy fight. These guys, I think, should go in, but let's actually absorb the retaliation first. Defend with these two. So those guys can actually reach our pikemen, but never mind. 
These guys are going to come down, do some damage to these, which allows these forward. They can now block off our archers. But if we just wait, can send these guys up to finish them off. That allows these skeletons to hit us. But that's pretty much unavoidable, so let's just do it. Keeps our archers safe. And then let's defend with these. Okay, seven pikemen. I think that's pretty much the same as the auto resolve, but never mind. There we go to this. We're offered advanced learning. So this is one of the problems with Linus is he does start with learning. Obviously not a great skill at all. Um, but it's the price you have to pay for a really good specialty. And I will explain at some point exactly what the specialty does. Uh, so water wheel there for an extra 500 gold. Let's just try and build up as much gold as we can. And we're also going to need a decent amount of wood. I can see the sawmill is to the east. But I do want to try and pick up an extra hero first. Uh, we've got a thousand gold, which is not really much we can do with. Let's just end the turn. Okay, so Orpit is to the south. Lots of wolf riders is not an ideal fight right now. Let's just go to the east instead. I uh, can take on a horde of gnolls. That's maybe a bit too much. If it was lots of gnolls, I'd probably do it. For now, I'm just going to go in this direction. Uh, we can see down here we have a treasure chest. That's maybe a slightly higher priority at this point because we do want to pick up an extra hero and we want to send them onwards. So we've got Edric, he's going to come with a griffin. I might actually take these with me. And then Edric, we're just going to ignore this because it's going to slow us down too much. I want to try and get myself a bit of wood. Okay, so that gives us enough to potentially buy the blacksmith or the marketplace. I am going to go for the marketplace. I want to try and save as much gold as I can for um, the village hall or the town hall, whatever it's called. I'm not really seeing a great direction to send Linus in, but let's just go slightly to the south and let's end the turn. Okay, so we're going to need some gold, so let's go for this. Let's hope this is gold and not gems. And uh, yeah, it's actually a really good thing to see a mystical garden there because that is going to be a semi-reliable source of, um, of gems. Which we're going to need for our angels. Lots of Master Gremlins there, that's not a good fight. I think maybe these imps. A horde of imps. For some, a lot of gold. And some wood. And another mystical garden, that's got to be worth it. So yeah, if we can just get a couple of weeks of relative peace. I think we can really get this going. We're very slightly short on the town hall, so I'm just going to trade away three wood. And let's just buy that. And let's end the turn. Okay, so a horde of imps, this should be relatively easy. Uh, we might take a few losses if they have familiars in particular. Oh wow. Okay. There are a lot of them. That's the thing. Okay. This should still do a lot. Yeah, that's most of them dead. Let's just try and block as best we can. So our previous fight, we did roughly as well as the auto-resolve did. I'm hoping that's not going to be the case here. There are lots of them. These guys are probably going to take the bait. So let's just go slightly forward. And then these guys should be safe for one more round. They can't actually kill me, okay. Alright, so we shoot these, doesn't do too much damage, we're going to wait with these. Defend with these. And we're going to open this up. Defend with these. And these guys... Might as well just go forward now, I think we can probably take one shot from the familiars, and then... There will be this one stack that goes before us, but we'll kill them, so that will move these guys up. So if we can stay out of their range... That's probably the best thing we can do. Okay, so we do manage to kill these off. We do manage to survive this, and at this point... Just need to get a full powered shot on something. So these guys are going to go first, these guys second. Let's go for them. Get morale, which is great. Let's finish them off. 
as uh, they could actually reach us, but never mind. Okay, so let's pull everyone back and defend. Okay, so yeah, we can still take a hit from them, that's completely fine. Let's go for these. Wait with these. Off, these guys can defend. Okay, so at this point, things have opened up and our archers are at risk of attack. I might want to go for the prayer. Especially considering the auto-resolve lost, I shouldn't take too many risks here. This is going to speed us up a lot. Uh, which is going to give us the option of just finishing off a few more of them. Or they can move. Okay, so we take some damage there, that's fine. These guys are going to go first. They go for the archers, we should be able to take the hit. But I don't think the retaliation is going to kill them, so... Got to finish them off, I think. Then we can go for a full powered shot. And we're going to aim that at these guys who go next. These guys get a free hit, and these guys are best off just defending. Wait with these. Okay, seven losses, that's not bad, definitely worth it for this. Let's hope we get something good. Cape of Conjuring, that is not what I want. It's kind of useful for prayer, but what we really need right now is just to get the economy going, so that's not ideal. Can't see what this is. Okay, hay spell is good, but Loinus... Loinus has a bit of a weird situation where obviously you start off with learning, so that's already one good skill slot gone. Um, you also want water magic for expert prayer. And at that point, I don't think Loinus really has room for air magic. So I'm going to try and actually avoid air magic if I can. Okay, so I didn't get much out of that. Not a huge amount I can do here. I am just going to send Edric to the south. And we're going to go back in this town. We're going to get the blacksmith. And we now need some ore, so we're going to have to push to the west, I think. Can't see any ore to the south. Let's double check this again. So our second hero is Aegit the Overlord, who does come with lots of troglodytes. That's not bad. Still not sure I want to go for it just yet, though. Okay, so we've got some wood right here, and then we've got a little bit more to the south. I'm going to send Edric all the way through, because I want him to do a bit of scouting. Doesn't really work, can't really see too much. I should check this out, let's just see if there's something else we can do with our ore that's useful. No. No, so we've got 2000 gold, we really want to try and get the mage guild if we can, we should try and do that as soon as possible. Gonna have to just go. I will take haste. I'll take haste, I'll go up to the Master Gremlins, and if we split these guys... We can probably take them on, it's not a great fight. But they are guarding a spell scroll, so it should be above level 1, and they are currently in our way, so I think we just have to go for it. Okay, so best option, I think, is just to haste the pikemen. These guys are going to take some damage. Yeah, that's not good. So if we send these forward, we can hopefully keep our archers safe. We actually get morale, perfect. So we go straight for those, and then let's just go down to these. These guys will go for the block. Okay, basic air magic, like I said, we're going to turn that down. Just going to go for wisdom, and we're going to try and go to the ore pit as soon as possible. So we're blocked off by... ah, oh, that's bad. So we definitely can't win the fight with the Horde of Familiars, I think we've maybe been a bit too weakened. We do have 
a few more pikemen than we did, but we also have fewer archers. Need lots of vampire lords. That's not going to be worth it. That's not going to be worth the effort. So the only way we can get ore is three turns time, push through the wolf riders. That's really not great. So the alternative is the next turn we can pick up Ajit. Ajit can probably just push straight through these. Maybe. I'm not sure about that one. We're just going to have to end the turn. It's possible that Edric's about to see some ore. Yeah, so it would have been better off just pushing on. I didn't know that at the time. So if we just pass this stuff over... I think that's the best we can do. Pop all this round. Edric, lots of rogues. Not going to be fun. But let's do it. Yeah, so those losses look okay. I'm going to try and hold on to my griffins if I can. As so these guys are all baited down to the bottom, which is good. Just gonna have to send these forward, try and waste as much time as we can. Okay, so two of them get to go straight towards us, let's shoot these. And because these guys are only 5 speed, these guys are 6, we're gonna have to take some damage. That's okay. Okay, so we've lost our one stacks, these guys come forward to attack these. At this point, the next stack to go is these, let's weaken them. You guys should just kill these, and these guys should go defensive. We might just end up losing them anyway, I think we probably will. Okay, so yeah, we do just end up losing the griffins anyway. Not really too sure what we can do about this one. Three stack goes next. Don't think this makes too much of a difference, let's just go for these. Let's kill these, and fortunately they are going to go for the pikemen instead of the archers, that's perfect. Finish them off. Hopefully we can still reach, which we can, pretty easily. And then since we're here, we might as well just go for these. In hindsight, probably should have split slightly more, but never mind. Defend with these, send these up to defend. And these guys... Let's try waiting for now. Shoot these. Hope we finish them off. Now if these get morale that could be a problem, so let's go and block. Okay, so they've spent their turn, we could go for these instead. These guys aren't going to kill these in one shot, so let's just go and weaken them. And then those guys have been finished off. These guys can kind of block. We should be able to keep our archers safe by doing this. They get a kill there, that's fine, and then we finish them off. Two pikemen for a bit more mercury, that's probably just about worth it. We do need mercury for the Portal of Glory. So that's a worthwhile push to make. And it's day 7, so I'm now extremely tempted to go for the Mage Guild. Uh, to go for the Barracks instead of the Mage Guild. On day 7, you just want to get the numbers up. Citadel is the other option, and Citadel would be really nice. We do need to find two more ore in order to upgrade our archers. I think I prefer Citadel. Okay, week of the mongoose, let's see. So we're going to pass these straight back to Loinus. We're going to send Loinus up in this direction. 
Uh, in our tavern, we've got Orin, who's another great hero to have. Definitely going to be my first choice for backup, I think. We need to get ourselves some more gold. I think realistically, we're just going to have to spend this turn travelling. And yeah, end the turn there. Okay, so one option is to return to base, get the upgraded Archer's Tower, um, and come out with some Marksmen. I think initially... Well, these guys have actually gone up to a horde of Wolf Riders, so that's going to be a tougher fight than I thought. There's not really a great way to do this. One thing about Horn of the Abyss is it's a lot less chaotic with its random map generation. Um, Shadow of Death is really hit and miss. You get these things that just completely block you off from actually reaching your ore pit and your sawmill, and it's it's a very regular thing. Like, it happens probably about half the time. It's a real problem. We do have this. That might actually be enough. I'm going to go for it. So we get this, and that allows us to buy Orin. And then next turn... I'll be honest, I did think Orin was going to come with a bit more than that. I didn't actually check that. I just kind of assumed it'd come with some decent units. That's really not great. So we could go for 10 archers, or we could go for a few more marksmen. Okay, so I'm going to bring Orin back. I'm going to give it one more turn. I'm going to send Edric to pick this up. Protection from fire, yeah, I was hoping for something a lot better than that. Uh, we can see the Horde of Familiars actually are guarding some ore. Uh, I didn't actually realise that. Kind of pretty well hidden there. But no, I think best option is just to go for the push against the Wolf Riders. So if we just end the turn after moving Edric. New turn begins, 2000 gold. I am going to spend this all on just upgrading as much as we can. Uh, we need to get ourselves two more ore. That's a bit more expensive than I thought, but at the same time... I don't think we would miss the wood that much. Alternatively, if we just go straight for 13 more of these... That might be enough. 19 straight arches. Yeah, I think that could work. Okay, so we're going to pass these back to Loinus. Okay, so we've got two pretty good stacks here, I think we can go for this. Yeah, so just 53 Wolf Riders, no Wolf Raiders, top stack does not get morale, so that would have really caused us some problems, but... All looking okay for now. Move these guys up to defend. And as usual... Probably just gonna keep these two stacks at the bottom. Can haste these when we need to. Okay, so this stack here can reach us straight away next turn. Don't think that changes what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go defensive. These guys come up, they go for the hit on the one stack. Now let's shoot these. We can haste these. That should be safe to do, and then that takes us up to 8 speed, we can go finish these off. Or at least do a lot of damage to them. Uh, you guys are going to come back and defend. So I can go defensive here, and just shoot them instead. What's probably going to happen is these guys are going to kill off the one stack, and then these guys are going to come in, although these guys come in first, so they'll kill off the one stack, these guys will come up, probably attack the archers. Can these guys reach our archers? No, these guys actually can't reach our archers, so let's go for these. They go for these, that's fine, no one else can get through. So these guys take a bit of damage, that's alright. Uh, these guys are going to go next, followed by these. These are the biggest threats, so let's go for them. 
You guys are going to defend. You guys go for these. Okay. 11 pikemen for that, that's completely fine. And there are lots of spells up for grabs. Let's just keep pushing. So we're now blocked by lots of wood elves, that's not a fight we want to take. Just try and do some scouting. Okay, so we do at least have a completely clear path through to the ore pit. Uh, we're going to need some gold. There's a, a treasure chest to the west. We can also come back go for the crypt. Spirit of Oppression is going to definitely do us more harm than good, especially against Necropolis. I'm going to send Edric up to here. And go back towards base. And then this guy. We can actually just go straight past them, so that's good. We've not built anything this turn, so let's go for some gold. And this gold here we can pick up with Orin. Best choice for Loinus, I think, is just to keep going north. Return to base. Can't actually do anything with 1,500 gold. I think our best option is just to hang on to it. Yeah, so it's a bit of a slow start, which is kind of how it goes with Impossible, but... As long as we can get our first couple of weeks without seeing any sign of anyone, I'm going to feel a bit more confident. Seems to have lots of wood up for grabs, but not so much ore. I think going for lots of gnolls might be a good idea. Okay, so we can keep exploring in that direction. Edric's going to go back to here. Um, I'm pretty keen just to save up for the city hall at this point, so... It kind of depends. So to get the Pool of Glory, we need the Mage Guild. That's got to be done either way. Um, but we could go for the Monastery, the Barracks, and the Castle. To get the Monastery, we're just going to need Sulfur and Gold. Barracks is pretty affordable. Yeah, so it, it's all down to sulfur and gold. I think if we can find a decent source of gold, we might be okay to go for that, but... There's not really that much lying around, so I'm not massively confident. Even so, I think... I do want to build up my numbers, so I'm going to go for a barracks. And I'm just going to check if there's something better I can be doing. So a pack of air elementals... Guarding some gold and the windmill. That's probably not worth going out of our way for. If we go west, we don't know what we're going to see. And we know we want gold. And we know we want sulfur. So sulfur is available through the Horde of Pixies. Also the familiars, but the familiars are much harder to get to. I might be better off just keeping the push going, but I think gold could be a problem here, so I am going to go for the gnolls. Okay, so they come with quite a few gnoll marauders, which could be a problem, but they are going to start lower down, so that's okay. You guys defend. Okay, so they're all taking the bait, that's good. I wasn't actually expecting them to survive that, so I could have actually saved the stack. But in any case, we should be able to keep it down to one loss. Okay, so these guys come closer, they're now in range, we just need to shoot them a couple of times. Yeah, could have prevented that second loss, but never mind. Alright, so we can keep pushing to the northeast, but that's not very promising. Better off just following the path. Uh, Edric could go for the crystal. If we were to trade some wood to sulfur, that's really not affordable. 
I think I should send Idrick up. So let's go for this. Let's claim this. I'm not gonna recruit. End the turn there. Let's go southwest, pick up this, and that is gonna take us to the way to the underground, which is guarded by lots of orcs. Don't really want to do that. Don't really want to take these on either. Yeah, so getting extra gold is looking like a bit of a no-go. Uh, we can still go slightly further to the west. Might find some lying around. Okay, so this way in is looking a bit easier. We can see um, some sulfur there too. Okay, so that has potential. I'm going to actually come straight back. So we've got sulfur there, we've got gold there potentially if we take on a horde of halflings. Really don't want to take on a horde of halflings, but if that's what we have to do, then I guess that's okay. As far as this turn goes, let's go back to our town, and what we could do is instead of going for the monastery, we could just go Griffin Tower into Castle. That just needs a little bit more gold. And a horde of halflings is not impossible. But I'm hoping we can find something slightly better than that. And then let's send this guy down just to scout and see what all this is. So nothing too appealing to the south there. Just going to start coming back. Let's get the Griffin Tower. Just trying to build up my numbers. Oh wow, okay. So, blue just breaks through. I was gonna say they took down the orcs like they were nothing, but... The orcs are still there, so I don't think that's supposed to happen. Um, they break through, they go for the, the lizard warriors instead, they still take them down like they're nothing. Um, they've still got several vampires. A few liches, and uh, a good supply of other units. That's not really a fight I want to take. I think I need to try and get the castle, but... Don't really want to take on a horde of halflings with this force. And we're gonna need gold to make that work, so a horde of troglodytes is slightly easier, in fact significantly easier, but... If we go too far in that direction, we can't come back to defend. I think we are going to have to go pretty defensive here. Let's just keep exploring. See what we can see. So lots of marksmen guarding the Greater Knoll's Flail. Uh, and if we keep going south, we're pretty much blocked off. There's not too much that's really worth going for there. Orin's not really got too much he can do. I could go for this wood. I don't know if that puts me in range of Chana, I think it might. So I probably have to just let that go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start drawing back. This is really not what we need because while we can kind of hold off blue, we're stopping ourselves building up. I really wanted just those first couple of weeks just to be completely safe. But we're gonna have to pull back. Day 6. So, best option, I think. We definitely want the castle. If we don't buy anything this turn, we're still a thousand short on that. If we go for the Griffin Bastion. We're gonna have a bit of a Griffin power stack. Which is not how I expected this to go. Um, the other option, of course, is just to go for the upgraded Archer's Tower, and that's gonna give us significantly better tier 2 units. I might have to do that. I would like to keep building up my, my unit supply, but it's not looking like that's going to work. So I think Mage Guild, Upgraded Archer's Tower. Alternatively, Upgraded Archer's Tower into Griffin Bastion. Because Griffin Bastion's not bad for Day 7. And we do have a Griffin Tower, so... We could get a bit of a power stack going of the Griffins. Um, something I could have done, which I'm actually now too late to do unless I, uh, unless I let Chana get significantly closer, um, is I could have not got this, and I could have waited until I got the Portal of Glory. And then at some point I'm going to take on two dungeon players who are both going to have Portals of Summoning, 
um, which would give me some extra angels, but that's really convoluted, and I don't want to do that. I think I'm fine with just having the Griffin Tower. Uh, I definitely want to come back to base. I want to upgrade this. Is it worth going for the Griffins? Well, if we don't buy them this week, they're not coming back. This isn't Horn of the Abyss, so we have to buy them now. Maybe we can strike out at the very start of next week. That might work. Because Chan is not going to be reinforced. It's kind of wasting time for now. So I don't know how much of a, of a hive mind the AI is, but as soon as I reveal myself to Chana, in theory that should mean all seven of them know where I am. Uh, also, if Chana makes it to my base, in theory that should mean all seven of them know exactly how tough my base is. So that wouldn't be good. I think I want day one of next week try and buy as many marksmen as possible and just hit Chana. But at the same time I'm determined for Loinus to be my main by the way, I know Orin's really good but I do want uh, Loinus to be my main, he's also two levels ahead so still worth using for now. Um, I do want to stay on the water wheel with someone. I'm gonna keep scouting with Edric though there is a way slightly further through there Okay, so perhaps what I'll do is instead of attacking day one, there's nothing wrong with attacking day two. So we're going to attack day two. We're going to keep Linus slightly further back so he can claim this at the very start of next week. And then we can kind of start pushing. Yeah, this is really, really not an ideal start and Blue, I thought was going to go back, but just kind of completely waste the turn there. That's not bad. Oh, that is perfect. The game is begging us to have a Griffin power stack. 26 Griffins. If only I actually wanted them, I still want to go with just the Marksman for now. So if we just go to this, claim this. Get some more of these. We can get one more, we're just going to need... 145 gold, that's probably worth it. Trade six of these. Get one more of these. 32 marksmen. It's not like a really easy fight, but I think it's worth doing. I'm not sure we can actually scare her off. And um, the other thing I've not done is get my spell points back. And that could make a difference. I've also not been to the Mage Guild at all yet. I've also not bought the Mage Guild yet. Um, but we're going to need an extra thousand gold to make that work. Let's see if we can find some. Yeah, so that's a dead end. Lots of halflings guarding some gold. That's not really worth going for. Pack of air elementals. Yeah, this is not a very generous map. Uh, our stables are in a completely irrelevant location. Stables, of course. If you take um, Cavaliers to stables, you can upgrade them for free. That's in addition to their other effect, which is to give you extra movement. Extremely useful. Um, but that's just too hard to get to. We're not going to be making much use of this. Uh, we've also not really got anything in the way of magic wells. So it's hard to keep Linus going. We do have... A couple of mystical gardens. We might as well send Orin to those. But then do I actually want to push towards Chana? Or do I want to give it one more turn? I think... Even without the Mage Guild... This is probably fine. Yeah, I would back myself to win that, definitely. Okay, so Edric start coming back. Edric go towards this. Edric could actually be our backup hero. He could have uh, just a Griffin power stack, but no, I, th I think that's a silly idea. Um, we're not going to buy anything this turn. We're probably going to try and buy the Mage Guild. Start pushing towards the City Hall because I think lack of gold is a real problem. I could also actually go back, go for the Crypt. Again, I'm not sure. Not sure that's worth it. So Chana is actually slightly afraid of us. 
So Chana makes the same judgement we do. Goes back. We don't know what this is. I wouldn't mind going for it. I'm pretty sure with 32 marksmen we can probably take this fight with pretty much no losses. Okay, so 500 gold from that, that's good. Then Orin down to this. And... Yeah, Mage Guild I think is the next thing we need. We check our tavern. Neither of these heroes are particularly great, so I'm not gonna go out of my way. I will go for these. I do have Wisdom, so I can start using this spell immediately as soon as I get my spell points back. Uh, there are quite a few of them, but I think we should be fine. Yeah, so we are able to bait them slightly. Go for these. Do get the kill. And these guys are just kind of leapfrogging each other, which is good. None of them can reach us yet. Just these guys left to go. I'm not afraid to pull them towards me, I think that's fine. Yep, yeah, so we're doing loads of damage to them. A little bit of experience too. We go for this. I think that should be fine. Ooh, no. Mistake. Yeah, shouldn't have done that. And we're not offered a good skill there. Okay, teleport spell, not bad. I mean, we are going to be going for... Yeah, that could actually work, because we're going to be going for expert water magic. That could let us teleport our crusaders over their walls. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And then we've also got a magic well there, finally, so we can start recharging ourselves. Losing a griffin kind of sucks, but that's okay. It was weaker the griffin, so we've got five more of those than we should, or at least we will end up with five more than we should. Edric is just going to come back to base. And we're still 500 short of the mage guild, but yeah, I want to go for the city hall. This is taking some time. But it's a poor map. I think we can safely say it's a fairly poor map. So the problem with all this is Chana's probably already cleared it out. I also don't know which way she went. Probably west, because we can see a monolith. I mean, that's not necessarily meaningful, but doesn't look like it's guarded. I'm still gonna go to this. I think I need to do that. And if I had spare gold, I would like to start building up this hero a bit more. Go to the School of War. Five gems from that, that's not exactly what I need. Yeah, so what I could do is I could go back, I could start playing a bit more defensively, and I could make it my goal before the end of the week. Take on the Portal of Glory. So if we get seven more archers, that's going to be a total of 39 marksmen. I'm not sure that's enough. With prayer, that's slightly better. Let's go for the Mage Guild. We do need that. Gets us magic arrow. Yeah, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna focus on the Portal of Glory. And I'm gonna go scout with Edric. If we lose Edric, that's okay, we've got some eyes on this, so Blue is now approaching us from that direction as well. That actually looks like it could be Chana. Uh, we've also got someone else, so yeah, we're, we're not gonna be able to Stay safe for too much longer. A bit more gold here, that's great. Keep going east, some more gold there. Okay, so that actually looks pretty promising. Don't think it changes my plan. So I do have the option now of picking up another hero in the form of Adelaide. Don't necessarily need to, I can do that any time. Do I want to upgrade my Griffin Tower? Because a bit of a power stack of Royal Griffins could be pretty helpful. 
But it also kind of depends how much gold we have. I start coming back. Let's go for this. Okay, so blue turns back. Claim some resources, but that's okay. Edric should be safe. That's teal to the north. Okay, 1500 gold there. We've got lots of stone golems. Guarding two treasure chests, and looks like we can keep going to the east. So yeah, let's go for this. Pick all of those up. Let's go to Loinus. I mean, let's go to Orin. Let's give these over. And let's start moving towards this. Turn Orin to base. We can upgrade these straight away. What I might do instead is just leave them behind. I'm trying to figure out if any of this stuff is worth taking. So lots of Horde of Gnolls probably is. Yeah, let's do that with Orin. He starts off with archery, so he's not completely useless, even at level 1. In fact, I think we can do this with no losses. Let's see. So if we wait with these... These guys can close to this, still at least one turn away, even if they get morale. Should still be safe. And we can just finish them off, perfect. So let's go for this, that gets us 500 more gold. We can now pick up Adelaide. We can upgrade these. And... Everything we earn over the next couple of turns, we're going to invest in Griffins. We could try and get one more dwelling. Maybe the monastery. If Orin goes for this... That's probably fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go out of my way for that. Like, I'm fully aware this is a really slow start. I wasn't planning on being this defensive, but... It just doesn't feel like a good time to push out. We have got some really good stuff in our starting zone. Just the Pool of Glory, really. I mean, it's not great, but... It's okay. We can kind of see enemies encroaching from all sides. I feel like defensive is okay for now. The other thing I want is to try and have enough gold left over... ...to actually buy one of the Angels. Which is going to be kind of expensive. Don't want to take that fight. But yeah, I think this fight should be fine. So we're expected to take very few losses there. But I think... I don't like to do this, like I don't want to be like really picky about four losses, but we've not had the best start here, and... I do just want to try and keep that to an absolute minimum. So you guys can probably kill these off in one shot, which yes you can. And these guys shouldn't survive either. Perfect. Yeah, so definitely worth doing that. Okay, so that gets us our Sulphur, and yeah, we can't get through without taking on the Vampire Lords. Bit of ore, not really needed. But let's just do it. And then Loinus can go for this next turn. Let's see that Orin can reach. So Orin can almost reach that, so if we just stop slightly outside... We send Adelaide back to upgrade the Griffins. And we send Edric over in this direction, hope for a little bit more. So we've got a Redwood Observatory, which reveals... This is where all the good stuff is. This is actually really worth going to. Um, it's, it's really hard to get back from, though, so... I still want to do it. I, I would really like to do this. There's so much here. University, we don't know what we're going to get. A problem with Loinus is he's a cleric, which means he's pretty unlikely to be offered a lot of good skills. So that's a good thing right there. And then if we keep going, we can get more gold. 
with a level from the Tree of Knowledge. We can open this up. And uh, there's a few other things we can use to upgrade ourselves, Maletto Towers, uh, but most importantly we've got another Portal of Glory. So this is really messing with my game plan because my kind of, my assumption was that I'd go for an early push. Just try and take someone's town. But I, I'm not so sure about that now. Day 6, so we've got one more turn. We're not going to be able to actually afford the Portal of Glory in our town. The absolute best case scenario would be... We get the Monastery. We get the External Portal of Glory. And we get an Angel, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, there's not too much free gold left. Yeah, I'm just going to end the turn there. Okay, so there is Teal. Teal also already has access to us. Let's see what they have. So that's Fiona. We're not going to know... Oh, we actually can see, so that is their best hero. And like, she's kind of scary, but... I still feel like we're not necessarily falling behind in playing it a bit more defensively. With this being day 7... We really want this to be gold. Nope, it's gems. Okay, so... Monastery is maybe not an option. So what I could do is... I could go for the Monastery instead of the Angel, but... No, I do want to go for the Angel. I can still reach. Gonna have to take the first fight without any Griffins. I really hope I can still reach. Yeah, that should be fine. That should be completely fine. Okay, so we've got all of our spell points. We've got pretty decent force here, even if this is a pretty scary crypt. I think we should be fine. This being Shadow of Death, we can't check what's in there before we go in. We just have to go for it. It is a scary crypt. But I think we have enough. Just kill these straight away. These guys go up for the attack, that's fine. You guys can't reach. But if we just pull everyone away, we should be fine. Okay, so you guys go for these. Doesn't get the kill, I probably shouldn't have gone for that, I guess. Yeah, I didn't need to go for that, but never mind. I'm gonna go for these. Finish those off. Then these two defend. Finish these off. And pull back. Now these guys are gonna come up for the attack. If we go for an attack on those, we're not quite able to finish them off. But we could have finished them off with a pikeman, so it doesn't really make a difference. Okay, Centaur's Axe and 2500 gold. So at this point... There is a balance to be struck. I'm not sure that 39 marksmen is enough. Because we have the Centaur's Axe, I'm not going to spend... Yeah, I mean, that's not great, but... I'm not going to spend any movement points going for the Red Dragon Flame Tongue. Edric can keep going east. As uh, there is still potentially more to grab. Okay, so Loinus needs to take on lots of horned demons. This is not necessarily going to be a particularly nice fight. I think this could be a mistake. I'm not sure we got enough. And I want to remind myself exactly how much these cost. Does it tell me? Doesn't tell me, so I'm going to check the wiki. Okay, so wiki checked and they cost 3,000 gold, so exactly the same price as the monastery. I think I'm going to risk this. Okay, so a thousand more gold. Do we even need to go for Royal Griffins? Are these even cost efficient? I'm not actually sure about that. 240 for these. 300 for these. These guys, 35 health. 
These guys, 25 unlimited retaliations, not sure that matters that much. But I don't want to throw swordsmen away, they're really good. So if we just get 24 of these, you can literally get one of these and I'll literally take everything I can get. I should probably also trade... I'm reasonably confident we have a good enough supply of gems that even though this is horribly inefficient, I am just going to try and pick up as much as I can. Because I, I don't want to mess with this fight, this fight could go horribly wrong. I'm going to actually let 20 go. Get rid of this too. Okay, so that gives us another 1700. That's another 7 of these. I feel like I could still give up more. Yeah, I think I could. So let's get rid of 6 of these. Five more of these, and five more of these. Gets us three more of these, and two more of these. Okay. So this could go pretty badly, but I think it's winnable. I wish I had tactics. So I need to do this one with pretty much no losses, which is pretty unlikely. Yep. Doesn't look too promising. Okay, so I need these guys to not get morale, but if they do, they can't reach our marksman yet. Yeah, that's not doing much. Okay, so two prayers is 32. So we can go for two prayers and one haste. These guys are six speed, these guys are five, so there might be an argument at some point for hasting a pikeman. Haste is not really going to help us against angels, although it might help the royal griffins, so... Yeah, we should try not to use that. Okay, so next round is going to be 15 stack, is going to get to go. So these guys, I should have actually put these guys here, I did make a mistake. These guys should have gone up here, these guys should have gone on the bottom, because if these guys get morale, that's going to be a real problem. But I might be able to shoot them down. It's a really low chance, and if it happens, then... I think we just hold our hands up, and we just spend the gold on the Monastery instead. I think that's fine. I do want to shoot these. They don't get morale, that's good. These guys are coming up towards us. Okay, so... This is not what we want to do. We want to defend with these. And we want these just to block as much as possible. And this stack we can lure away. And I think we should. Yep, so next round begins. They go for those. You guys are free to attack. They're potentially in range of both of these stacks, but I'm not sure these stacks will actually choose to attack the Royal Griffins, because they'll take more damage than they'll dish out. Especially if I defend. Something else I could do is I could go for a hit and run. I think that's okay. Oh, we actually get morale. Okay. So, now we're going to move back. That gives us the chance to go defensive. You guys can shoot. These guys are going first. So, let's go for those. Keep it simple. They come forward. They go for those. And now these guys are going to go for those as well. They kill a lot of them. 
And at this point, this guy's pretty pointless, but not much we can do with him. Yeah, still not sure about this one. So, what can we do this turn? We can do some decent damage to these. No, I think we wait with these. We're going to have to take one more shot from these. Let's kill those. These guys can come up and attack our marksmen, but they don't, which is really good. But that does deprive us of the opportunity to absorb some retaliation. I think I'm better off defending. But at the same time, I need to free up my marksmen. So I'm going for this. I'm now really questioning going for the Portal of Glory. This fight alone was tougher than I thought. Now if I kill these, then... I do get a free shot from my marksmen, but then these guys are free to do whatever they like. So, best option, I think, is to wait. Wait with these. So we might take one shot from these. Yeah, we take one shot from those. You guys should just absorb this. These guys should get two kills. But they've only got one HP left. So... Let's not do that. Let's defend. Attack with these. Next round begins. I think we just have to go for that hit. Yeah, because we can't kill them both off. I could go towards these, but it's not going to keep me safe. I can escape from these. But then that just means they attack the griffins instead, so... I'm not sure about that. Still, I'm going to do it. Okay, so... Definitely took a few more losses than I expected to there. We do get basic logistics, which is good, and basic earth magic, so that's some good news. Loinus is on his way to being slightly better. Is this enough? We need that 3,000 gold. If the angels get morale, we would be in a lot of trouble. So let's see, if that happens, is that a complete game loser? Like, do we just completely lose at that point? Because we don't have to do this. We can still go back to town, buy a monastery, and start of next week. We've got a decent supply of units. The other thing is, of course, going for the, the Portal of Glory here, we... A big advantage of doing that is we, we would then get plus one growth in our town. But of course we don't get that yet, so... I think just because of the risk that they fly forward, they get morale, and they annihilate our archers, in spite of everything. I just don't trust this. If we got offered tactics, I would probably do it, but we didn't. We got earth magic, we got logistics, I'm not complaining, but this would be a lot safer with tactics. I really don't trust it. Let me just check one final thing. So these guys are speed 9, these guys are speed 12. Yep, there's no way to make that work. Not gonna work. There's gonna be three stacks of angels that are gonna move in first. Before we can do anything, they probably have something like, I can't remember the exact number, something like a 6% chance each of getting a second turn. It's too risky, we're going for the monastery. And then our goal for next week is... We need gold. We definitely need gold. So I want to get some gold. I, I want to get the actual Portal of Glory at the end of month one. And then at the same time I want to open this up. I also want to get the castle. So I need to figure out where am I going to get 20,000 gold. Because we still need the, the city hall. And we're a long way off. Okay, so I'm going to send Adelaide towards this. I'm going to move Loinus in this direction. 
because I don't think there's anything else here now that's worth going for. Uh, what I do have to decide is whether to go up through here and try and claim some of this stuff. That's maybe a bit too passive. I do think I'm strong enough to take on this guy. Or girl. Woman. Yeah, that's doable. But then, are we actually strong enough after that to go and take her town? I'm not sure we are. So I might stay a little bit passive. Definitely need the city hall. Yeah, so Fiona is coming up. She is starting to move back. I think she knows what I have. Still only making a thousand gold a turn. Yeah, we need to get the city hall. It's really urgent. This is a dead end. Gonna have to come back to this. Adelaide's gonna go to this. Five gems, it's not what we need. How are we going to make this work? So if we had experts slow, we could probably go for the Naga Bank. I don't want to take on the Wood Elves. But I can haste my Griffins. It's still not ideal. Yeah, Dwarven Treasury there is a bit too far away. And um, there's no real other creature banks that are massively worth going for. I still think the Naga Bank might just be what we have to do. Yeah, we want City Hall, we want Portal of Glory, but we also want the castle. So I, I can't see how this would work. But there's not many alternatives. I think we do just have to get going. So lots of Wood Elves, we don't want to do that yet. So what we can do is go back in this town, recruit Tyrus or recruit Ingham instead. Ingham comes with more units. And yeah, we've got seven monks available to us that we wouldn't have otherwise had, so I don't regret not going for the Portal of Glory. I don't think one angel would have been that important to us. Would have helped in this fight, though. Let's see, can you actually get back and get to Linus at the same time? I think he probably can. So, I'm going to end the turn there. Okay, so Teal is chasing us down. That's Teal's main though, so they're kind of wasting their time. Okay, so we send this guy back to here. We can pick up 13 more of these. That's a lot of gold. For this particular fight, I think we want these instead. Can't quite reach. The thing is, the Griffins don't help us too much against the Nagas. We we do want to level up. But what I might actually do is, one thing we don't know is, what are we going to see if we go through this particular subterranean gate? There could be some good stuff there. Pack of Dragonflies would be pretty easy to do. That's another creature bank. Wrong of Halflings, that's gone up. We don't need the University as badly as we did before because we've got some pretty decent skills on the go. Um, there is actually some wood there that I missed. I think what I'll do is, I will open this up, but I'm actually doing it for the sake of easier travel. I'm not going to go for the Naga Bank, we need Expert Slow for that. We're going to corner Fiona, and we're going to just try and open up as much of this as we can. Because there's a lot up for grabs here, that's going to really get us going. Um, I think if we go start chasing down our opponents, it's a lot riskier. I don't think they're strong enough to come and attack us. So yeah, let's go after her, let's finish her off. That's at least Teal slightly weakened at that point. And in the meantime, we're going to get ourselves as strong as possible. Okay, so they have started off with Grand Elves. 
We're going to want to haste. Is haste going to be enough? Shadow of Death doesn't tell me. I haven't memorized if it's 3 speed or... I don't think it's 2 speed. I think it's 3 speed. So if we get 3 extra speed... That's going to be 1, 2... Let's put the grid on. The 3 extra speed is going to take us to not close enough for my liking. I could just haste this stack instead. Or I could just go for teleport. And we have seen a magic well up there, so let's just do that. Turn these forward. I'm going to turn this off because I think it looks nicer without. Sugar. And uh, I have misclicked there. I have accidentally clicked wait. Shouldn't have done that. There, we take a loss there. That's okay. Let's weaken these. They get a few kills. That's okay. Turn these forward. Go for the attack on these. I think that's worth doing. We're going to be using this path a lot. So that's all open. Keep going with Loinus. We push towards Fiona. We can't quite reach, even having done that. But that's okay. We, we could kind of use a bit more time just to build up some numbers. But at the same time, I think I, I do want to go towards City Hall before I do anything else. So I think going for the Halflings instead. It's not urgent that we go for this. I mean, I kind of want to get to the Stone Golems before she does. So, thinking about it, her slowest units are slower than ours. If we go towards her, we should be able to chase her down. And we're not going to quite have the numbers I'd like, but I think that's fine. Okay, so she's stopped there. That is, I think, still their main. Yep, still their main, still their best hero, so that's a good positive sign. We want to make sure we attack the Gogs as strongly as possible. And then she's going to come towards us with Pit Fiends and um, Hellhounds. Which is fine, we can block those off. Yeah, so some pretty bad losses expected to the Griffins. Let's try not to let that happen. I'm going to start by waiting. In terms of spells, I can teleport these straight across. They can't quite reach otherwise. Don't think it's in my interest to do that. I think we want to try and draw her in. I could actually go straight for the attack. Just play it as defensively as possible. Force them to come towards me. I kind of like that because I think I don't really want to send the Royal Griffins forward. No, I prefer waiting because that brings them in. Okay, we take a couple of losses there, that's fine. So we're now free to go for a full powered shot on these. Those guys come forward, that's fine. So what I want to do is I want to be out of range of these and ideally out of range of these as well. So if I go to here that should get me close enough. Okay, so next round begins. I'm gonna go for these. Kill pretty much all of those. Then these guys are gonna come in and attack us. I think that's okay. Other stacks can't reach our marksmen. So what I should have done is I should have attacked these on my way through, that would have made more sense. That was a mistake, but never mind, I'm uh, a bit frazzled today. 
Right, so if we go for these two shots, that's going to be slightly less than three kills per shot. So we'll probably get about five kills. I think that's the best thing to do. Okay, so yeah, we do we do lose one extra griffin, that's fine. You guys come down to block. You guys defend. And then with these, they've got 24 HP left. I think we just wait, we let them attack us, we kill them with retaliation. We defend with these two, don't think they survive. Nope, they don't survive. We kill these, or they can go. They're now not able to kill off that stack. And these guys are free to come down. Okay, so next round begins. These guys get to go next. I use these to weaken the demons. The other thing I could be doing is I could use some spells, but... I don't think we need to here. I know there's a magic well coming up. Yeah, I don't think there's any need. I'm gonna go for these. Weaken these. And she flees. So those losses are not bad at all. Taken out a main. Got some experience, got advanced earth magic, that's not bad. Let's go to this. We can get armor for 2,000 gold. Let's come back for that. So yeah, the magic well is actually pretty close. But yeah, next turn we can go for the stone golems. Uh, we can open up the two treasure chests. Edric could actually go for that now. I don't see why not. There's a very slim chance that this could actually get us... I mean, this is not a massively easy fight, having lost a few of our marksmen. But there's a very slim chance this could actually get us the city hall this turn, so I'm going to do it. This guy is the griffin specialist, which is good if we need to use those to attack, but... Still not ideal. No spellbook. Good thing about these is they can't get morale, so we can kind of kite. Okay, so these guys are now in range, we can do some decent damage to those, and the other guys we're just going to try and pull away. Okay, so yep, we do manage to successfully bait those, and now we can bait them slightly more in this direction. Pretty much kill off these or near enough. And we're just going to pull these in. Can't go full powered yet, so we probably have to kite them slightly more, although the morale might be just enough. Let's go defensive. Wait. They come in again, we go for another shot, that takes them down to five. And we do get one more shot. And we finish them off, perfect, so no losses there. Get to level up Edric very slightly, and we can go for this. And that is actually all our movement points gone, so... There are still things we can go for, but no, we'll go for City Hall next turn, we definitely need that. Let's go and pick this up. And uh, yeah, we've got a few extra griffins coming up. Not sure we need them. We don't really need them urgently, but I am going to keep going in that direction. So we've not seen too much of Blue since we first saw him. 
Teal is pretty badly weakened. We'll go for these. This is worth doing because we might as well just bolster our hero slightly. It's it's a slightly tedious fight just to save one griffin, but let's do it. It's very easy to do. Oh, we do actually survive that. Okay, good. I was just thinking that's one thing that could go wrong, but no, we're fine. Okay. So, we take this, we move back towards Loinus. We can just about make it, so we give Loinus his units back. Give him his artifacts back. Don't think we need Curse, but let's just take it. And let's go in this direction. Let's go for that. And we don't want to go for this. We don't really want to take on the monks. We could benefit from pretty much all of this stuff. We do want the gold. Portal of Glory is probably not going to happen this week, but we might be able to change some units over next week. So the best sources of gold are to the east. We want to go for the, the combination of the Crypt and the Dwarven Treasury, but is that doable before the end of the week? I think it might be. So what I'll probably do is I'll go for these two with Loinus, we'll take the upgrades, and then we'll leave the Hobgoblins to Edric. That should give us enough movement to push in this direction. And we can also take on the zombies pretty easily. Let's go for these, taking very few losses. Shouldn't need to take any losses here again. Okay, so that's plus one knowledge, and then we go to the normal orders. We have enough gold at last to get the city hall. Should have done that some time ago. I kind of underestimated how poor the map is. And how little we'd have available to us before being encroached upon. Okay, so this next fight should be pretty easy. Might as well do it for the XP. Again, the AI loves to just throw these forward, but there's absolutely no reason. Okay, so if they get morale, they can definitely reach us and there's not much we can do, so let's just go defensive. Go for plus one attack, and let's move towards these next, although before we do... Take all of this, and let's go open this stuff up, and then Loinus is going to pick this up, because why not? We should go for the zombies, it's not really urgent, we can do it on our way back. So let's go for this. Let's send Orin be a middleman. Adelaide, I think, is fine where she is. Yeah, so we do have a couple of extra heroes available to us. I wouldn't mind doing some scouting, but I do just want to try and save up as much gold as I can. I'm pretty sure if I push to the west, go underground, um, the chances that there are free resources just up for grabs here, I think, is very slim. Yeah, so some of the players are now ahead of us in terms of town count which means there are some free towns. But I'm not sure how we reach them, so there's a good chance there's a tower town up to the north. Um, we haven't found a way through, but it's still possible there will be one. We should keep building up. I think going from stables to training grounds is a less ambitious but more realistic target this week. Let's do it.
Okay, so Edric's gonna go up and attack these. We should do it for the XP once again. Okay, no morale, so we shouldn't need to take any losses. Finish them off. And that is now open. We'll go to these, once again, worth doing for the XP. Auto resolve. Really likes throwing away these griffins, it's an annoying fight to have to take, but let's just get it over with. Very easy to do. Basic earth magic, this guy's actually looking okay now. Orin is the one I'd rather power up, but... Yeah, I think that's all fine, so let's swap these over, pass the artifacts over, and now take this over to Loinus. Loinus will take them back. We'll visit this. Go to the crypt. It's a pretty weak one. Okay, we're just going to move pretty much everything away. Uh, we're going to wait at the start of this turn. I'm going to kill these off. These guys come closer. Now I think 31 griffins, particularly with our stats rising, might be able to get the kill here. Yep, they do. Actually, pretty clearly overkill. Okay, but only 1500 gold for that, that's not really what I would like. A pack of basilisks, we could get a good spell out of this. Let's do it. Again, I think... We don't need to take losses here. They get morale, they are going to do some damage, but they are going to put themselves in range. I mean, they're probably slow enough to kite. This is really risky. but I'm going to try it. I think this works. If I understand the AI correctly, this is actually fairly safe. It depends if he wants to go towards the 31 stack, which... Hopefully he doesn't. So we go here, we're within one hex of where he's going to end up. He does come forward, okay, so it doesn't really work, but... We can send these through to attack, or... No, there's no point baiting the retail, let's just go for the attack. They don't actually manage to kill us off, so that's good. Let's uh, go safety first, just go block off our marksman. Weaken these slightly. Then these guys can go again, finish them off, perfect. Expert Wisdom, go East, Earth Elemental, that's okay, we have uh, we have Earth Magic. Yeah, that could actually save our skin, I mean, it's, it's unlikely to, but that's not bad. Obviously what I'd really like is uh, Dimension Door or something like that.
think I can just go for this, yep. Okay, so Dwarven Treasuries I'm not massively experienced in. Let's see what we're dealing with. So a throng of Dwarves, just Dwarves. They can be kited. If we actually had Expert um, Earth Magic, I'd be more confident. I might actually summon Elementals here. I might do that. Yeah, I think we do want as many stacks as possible. And let's just go in. Okay, so we're actually expected to lose, that's not good. Alright, so I'm just going to try this. I'm just going to try and summon some of these. Just to waste some time. And keep that one stack away. And I might be able to use them to bait some of the others as well. These guys are actually within range, so that's not the best spot for them. We're going to have to just move away. There is a risk of morale here, but... I think we just have to accept that. Okay, so they do get morale, but they're only able to reach the one stack. It's the stack of 22 we have to be a bit careful of. But we do get away with it. So I could try and move away from these, but... Is that going to work? Yeah, I think that does make sense. Should I prayer instead? So if I prayer, that's... That's going to leave me with not enough for any more Earth Elementals. I do quite like using the Earth Elementals here. Can't really keep my Griffin safe. Still, I think I know what I'm going to do. So this is the 31 stack. We're going to send the 31 stack. Just to attack these. And then these guys are going to go up to here. Although actually, that doesn't make sense. What I should do is try and bait them the other way. I mean, I could just use them as a bit of a barrier. Because these two stacks are coming in. Nothing I can do about that. I can definitely bait this guy away. Yeah, something I didn't consider is it is their native terrain, so they're slightly faster than I was hoping. Let's do this. And let's use these as our bait. Okay, they're going for it. Okay, so they, they get in next to the marksman, but that could have gone worse. All those guys up there. Gonna have to just march these away. Yeah, that can work. So we send these here. We send these to the bottom. We try and bait these. Okay, so I'm now actually really glad we got that uh, elemental spell. That's working pretty well. We've still got six more speed, that's enough for one haste. Or it's enough for one curse. I'm not sure what I prefer. Because I don't want to try and run away from these. So I think I might just curse them. Yeah, I'm going to curse them. I'm going to attack them. We get morale. So I don't think we need to bother finishing them off. They can reach our marksman though, which is really annoying. Um, but we don't have a great shot on anyone else. 
I'm just going to do it. I'm going to use these guys as bait if that works. I'm not sure it will. I'm going to defend with these. These guys are pretty tough, so let's just go and attack these. Okay, so now they're pretty much all out of range. But we might be able to bait these guys slightly closer, so let's wait. You guys attack these. Yeah, it doesn't quite work. These guys can come in and come back. You guys can't get a full powered shot on anyone, so just go for the closest stack. I want to bring them slightly closer. But I think it's safer just to go defensive. Okay, so they're all dead. We've got no spell points left, so at this point it's a straight fight. We've got them on the other side of the field. Hopefully that's enough. These guys can bait them in. Let's give it a go. Wait with these. These guys can wait too. Hopefully no morale. So I think these guys might just about be in range. I'm not going to use these yet. Yeah, they are in range. Perfect. So we do a decent chunk of damage to those. I'm going to try and pull them up towards the top. Might not work. These guys are dead. These guys are coming closer. Let's move back down to the bottom. You guys are going to have to try and bait them over here. Okay, so I think the kiting does work, so at this point this is fairly straightforward, I'm probably going to just speed this up. Okay, so we've got no shots left. We're gonna have to just go in for the final attack. Might take maybe one extra loss. Yep, okay. So the Earth Elementals, of course, don't exist, so that's fine losing them. Seven Royal Griffins for that. I'm hoping we get a really good amount for this. Expert Earth Magic is really good too. 7,500 gold. Definitely worth doing that. I'm really pleased with that. So we can get the castle. Definitely want to do that. Um, but... Could we actually go for the Portal of Glory? We need the castle either way. And then we need probably about seven or 8,000 more gold. I'm not seeing a way to make that happen. Even if we push in this direction, we can get to the water wheel. Uh, we can get an extra pile of gold. There's this stuff up here, which of course we can go for next turn. Either way, I think it's pretty clear we're going for the castle this turn. And, I mean, there's an argument for getting more heroes, but I actually don't want to do that. I, I want to try and hang on to my gold. I really don't think we can accomplish much with scouts right now. I'm going to keep moving in this direction. I'm going to win the turn there. Okay, so no sign of our opponents. I'm actually really glad I came this way. I, I don't feel like we had great force to go and make a push with. Um, and now we're starting to really lay down some good foundations. So we want to get the Portal of Glory. That's going to cost another 10,000 gold. That's not going to work. What I can do is I can probably go for the training grounds. And now the fact that we sold off all that wood is actually starting to bite. 
So there's a little bit of wood up here next to the orcs. That might work. Let's go for the gold first. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we're only 7,000 off now. That's still not going to work. So yeah, we want to go for the training grounds. Definitely. There is some wood up here. If we were to send Orin up there, I'm not sure he can make it back. If we were to send Loinus up there. He's got a better chance of getting back. We've also got the guardhouse, which would be some free pikemen. But if we do that, I don't think we can get back. Difficult choice. I am going to try this. So what I'll probably do is I'll have to just leave the guardhouse. Not the end of the world, we'll lose a few pikemen, but I think that's fine. Um, maybe just sacrifice a griffin here. Or no, we should go for the attack, definitely. Yeah, we can easily get the kill. Um, we can't make it to Orin, but Orin can probably... You know what? Let's do this. So we claim these, that gets us 14 extra pikemen, technically 15 extra because we're going to get one more in our town. And then we can kind of get close to Orin. I'm hoping Orin will have just enough movement points to make this work. Starting to have my doubts. He also doesn't have a way of speeding up our griffins. I'm gonna try this. Yeah, so some bad losses expected. Let's just try and throw these guys forward as soon as we can. If we take a few losses to our griffins, that's fine. If we get morale, that's perfect. Weaken these. No morale, unfortunately. I'm gonna wait with these. Take a few losses to our marksmen, that's okay. These guys, I don't think we're gonna involve. Okay, that does allow us to reach the wood, and if we return to our town, we just need a couple more wood for the training ground. Let's do that. It's really expensive, but it's worth doing. Okay, so going into month two, we still don't have angels, but we have a decent chance at Two external portals of glory. Um, and then I think we're going to get the capital pretty soon into next week. So portal of glory at the end of month two, week one is possible. Um, and then I'm not sure we can go for this particular portal of glory anytime soon. It's possible we can. We are starting to look a lot better with Loinus. Uh, we do have expert earth magic now, so we could potentially go for a slow on them. There's still that risk of if they get morale, they'll pretty much immediately kill off our, um, our marksman. So I'm, I'm not sure I want to risk that, but I think we've actually laid down a pretty good foundation here. I know we're, we're going to be slowly falling behind our opponents in some ways, but in other ways we, we have a really solid town building up. And if we can just reach that point where Loinus is extremely strong, has a really good supply of units, and has expert prayer, we're still some way off that. We don't have any sign of um, water magic yet, but... I think it's workable. This has been a really long introductory episode. I usually do them a lot shorter than this, but this is going to be a pretty lengthy playthrough. We've not been blessed with an amazing start here, although we have managed to somehow put off attacks. I'm not sure how. So in that regard, I guess things could have gone a lot worse. But yeah, I think it was beneficial to be a little bit more passive here to actually build up our town a bit and just to get a decent force going. What's going to happen next? I'm not really sure. We still have seven opponents left. They've had a month to build up undisturbed. It's definitely going to be a fairly tough playthrough. To keep watching, do click the playlist link in the description. 
we've got a decent foundation to work with and I think we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.